In this video, I will be explaining to you the process of extracting gold from computer parts. So first of all, we're going to need computer parts, just like this, with the gold plates on the top. But this one chip of RAM doesn't have very much gold content, so we're going to need a lot, mini dumpsters worth. The next step is to remove any piece of the chip that doesn't have any of this gold plating on it, as we won't be needing it at all because it doesn't have any gold content. What we'll be left with is something that looks a little like this. It's commonly referred to as gold fingers because of its finger-like qualities. The next step is where the fun begins. It's acid bath number one. Acid bath number one consists of hydrochloric acid and hydrogen peroxide mixed in a two to one ratio. They're mixed together in a large bucket and the gold fingers are submerged under them about a centimeter under the surface as not to waste any of the hydrogen peroxide or hydrochloric acid. Two main things happen in the first acid bath. First of all, the gold flakes are eaten away from the plastic ram pieces. Second of all, chlorine gas is produced in the violent reaction, which is really, really bad for you, so I'll be wearing a respirator because about 30 cents of gold isn't worth dying. I'll know the first acid bath is complete when all of the flakes have separated from the plastic on the ram chip. After this, I will need to start the second acid bath, which consists of 20% bleach and about 80% hydrochloric acid. All the gold flakes left over from the first acid bath are submerged inside of the solution with bleach and hydrochloric acid. The second acid bath will completely dissolve the gold into the bleach and hydrochloric acid, creating a solution called auric chloride, which is two atoms of gold and six atoms of chlorine. The next process after this will be to add a couple teaspoons of sodium bisulfate to the mixture. What this will do is it will break the chemical bonds between the gold and the chlorine, just leaving the gold. Next, we will filter out the entire solution with the gold and everything into a couple coffee filters, and the only thing that will be left is pure gold in powder form. 